Good morning, good morning, good morning. That was a billion in one strings playing one of your all-time favorite tunes. At the top of the news this morning, there's monkey business in Utah. Oh, seriously now, it seems that a band of renegade chimpanzees have kidnapped the Pulitzer Prize-winning poet Lester Charles and are demanding... Hey, what's the big idea? I'm attempting to get some sleep. Look, buddy, I'm doing a broadcast, do you mind? Whoa, not in the face, pal. Now, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, the chimps are protesting discriminatory... I've got a good mind to reset your alarm. Permanently. Sorry, folks, we seem to be experiencing a little technical difficulty, but I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. Whoa, this just in. Domestic bedroom violence erupts in peaceful Woodland Cottage. We'll keep you post. Ooh. Can't even hear your own thoughts around here with all the racket around here. Holy mother of Edison! What were you thinking? You might have broken my bulb! I'm thinking you think too much, pal. What we need is some wake-up music. So when it's raining, have no regrets, because it isn't raining rain, you know, it's raining violence. Plugs on you. As your Norman tongue, you'll be run through in an instant. Defend yourself, so lampy of luxury. A blow for Richard. Ah, out. Hey, a blow Ooh. for Marion. Ah. Ah. A blow for Marion. Ah. 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 Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Who turned out the light? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Toaster. Hey, slots. Salutations. <laughs> uh, thanks. So, what's in our lineup today? What are our instructions? What do you mean, what are we going to do today? The same thing we've done for the last 2,000 days. Chores! Sure. It'll be fun. Fun? Say, I'm always up for some fun. Listen to this. It's a broadcast from Ebbets Field. And it's the top of the ninth. I don't understand how chores could be fun. Not supposed to be fun. It's work. I don't like to work without the master. Well, okay. If you guys don't want to work, why don't we play a game? A game? What sort of a game? What are the rules? There's only one rule. You can't stop till the house is clean. Boo. Gotcha, pal. Leave it to me. Hang on to your hats, you devil dogs, because the master bebop blaster of all time is going to give you a soul injection. Wop, bop, ling, bop, 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 to the boo. East, 
She rocked to the west, but she's the gal that I love best. Do the food, oh Rudy. 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 Bum 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 bum. I got a gal named Daisy. She almost drives me crazy. Got a gal. Yes, indeed. But you don't know what you do to me. Do the food, oh Rudy. 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 Bop bop bop. Well, was it him? Well, I'm just curious as to whether or not it was him. I hate being left in the dark, you know. I guess we can assume that it wasn't him, right? Let's get back to work. Sorry for that little interruption, folks. Return to our regularly scheduled program at this time. <laughs> cry, cry, weep, wail, and sob. It's disgusting. Every time, I can't believe it. Every single day, give me that stupid picture. In a yes, garbage. Yes. No, you can't. Wimp. Let go. Oh, he's not coming back anyway. He might. The fact is, there's just not enough Stop. back. Stop. Right, break right, out. People must cut it. The shocking world and bringing Geneva talks to a grinding halt. Let me have it. Oh, no. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. I think he was laughing at us. You know something? You're a real bright little lamp. Oh, thanks. Hey. You guys really have an attachment for that kid, don't you? Yes, he was our master. Well, that's real nice. And any day now, he might come romping back, huh? Just come whistling right back in through that door, and everything will be the same. Real peachy keen-like. Uh-huh. It's a possibility. Well, at least we try to be optimistic. Optimistic? Somebody untie the knot in this guy's cord. Why don't you just shut off? Hey, I'm real scared there, Kirby. What are you gonna do, suck me to death? <laughs> what is it with you guys, anyway? You act like you just came off the assembly line. Now get this through your chrome. We've been dumped. Abandoned. But he loved us. That's right. So what? He's a kid. He has a family. They move away, he moves away. It's a package deal. But maybe they're He's all... He's not coming back, pure and simple. Oh, yeah? Did you talk to him recently or something? That could drive up any second. You really think so? I'm not talking to you. The whole bunch of you gotta have a combined wattage of five, maybe less. It's been years. It's scrap metal time. Well, you can do what you like. We're not gonna give up hope. That's real touching, Toaster. You're gonna get me bawling like a baby any time now. I think you're jealous. Sure, I'm jealous of a bunch of dimwits. Them? Yeah, because the master never played with you. Because you're stuck in the wall. <laughs> It's back to that stupid static again. You think I don't know what's going on in here? I know what goes on in this cottage. It's a conspiracy. And every one of you low watts is in on it. Just because you can move around, you think you're better than I am. I'm not an invalid. I was designed to stick in a wall. I like being stuck in this stupid wall. I Help it if the kid was too short to reach my dials! We didn't mean it! Really! It's my function! Don't! Wait! Wait! He's gonna blow! Yes! I didn't know he'd take it so hard. Well, he was a jerk anyway. Hey! Hey! What's that? What is it? A car! I don't want to hear another word about cars. You said it. Sounds pretty close. Just don't even start. Sounds real close. Stop it! We're going out to find him! What? what? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Exactly what I said. We're gonna go out and find the master. To the city? Yeah, no matter what. Well, how exactly would you propose we're gonna do that, exactly? I... I don't know. Oh, come off it. Be serious. I am serious. You're insane. Why, if only we were all wiener dogs, our problems would be solved. What? Or maybe it was a basset hound. You're all insane. It was a news... It was a news flash I picked up yesterday about a dog. In an amazing show of loyalty and courage, a terrier named Grover 
traveled hundreds of miles to be reunited with his owner. The poor little critter was accidentally left behind on a fishing trip three weeks ago and had to find his way across rugged mountain peaks and scorching deserts in order to get home. Little Grover turned out to be one spunky pup. If a dog can do it, we can do it! But a dog has legs. Ah, don't be a wet blanket. Actually, legs would help, you know. Brains wouldn't hurt either. Lay off. Yeah, pipe down, carpet breath. Well, I'm going with or without you. I say we stay. We'll have a new master anyway as soon as someone buys the cottage. But I don't want a new master. I want our master. Well, what about the rest of you? You boys are gonna need a leader. Why, alone you wouldn't last for five minutes out there. I used to be a mountaineer, see? And together, we can stand against the forces of nature. Were you really a mountaineer? Sure. Ask anybody. Ask Teddy Roosevelt. Why, we shot moose together on the Klondike. Wow. Well, you know, I was thinking, you guys will need somebody bright along, too. Good idea. Listen to this. World War II, the Normandy invasion. And who's there but Lumpy to light the way? You know, I thought it'd be good to have somebody come along who's really strong. And loud. And grumpy. And oblivious to reality. Well? I just know I'm gonna regret this. Yeah! Wow, this was our last fuse. See, it's a good thing we're getting out of here. I've always loved trouble anyway. The open road, the smell of the wind in my face, the flies clogging up my grill. Yeah? Well, how are we gonna travel? Hey, I've got an idea. We can all pile on top of the bed, you know, and then Kirby can push us. No, no, no. Hey! What about the master's pogo stick? No, that's no good. Hey! How about we're in the refrigerator on a skateboard and Kirby can pull? No, no, no. Hey! Shut up, shut up! Shut up! Let somebody else try for a change. Arise, Hassan. Arise, oh, magic carpet. We need a longer cord. Why, we need an alternate power source, I say. Yes, this is it. Uh-huh. Hey, Blanket. Huh? You ready to go, Blanket? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Kirby. Why, look, Lampy. From here, you can see the really big lamp. Wow! I wonder where his switch is. We are pioneers! Whoa! Can't see the road anymore. 
Are we going the right direction? I don't think so. Why, you boys are gonna need a navigator. Navigator? Why, sure. I'll just tune in on a radio signal from the city, see? I can take you right there. Look at his blood. <laughs> North by Northwest. Watch out for low-flying aircraft. Ow! What's wrong? He stepped on me. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did, Did too. too. Did not. Hey, 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 come on. How do you guys expect us to get there if you're fighting all the time? You mean we're not there yet? <laughs> no, no, not yet. We got a long way to go. Oh, boy. You're telling me. Life is like a journey on a road that's within. Head says you should stay, but your heart says to begin. So you go. But you don't want to go. Any life worth living isn't life just filled with ease. You just stay forgiving through the forest and the trees. And, and you'll go. Just where you want to go. Time fly by in the city of light. Time stands still in the country. There's no time for a fuss and a fight As we travel the land And I'd be satisfied just to be Not denied to reside with some pride But a ride to the city, the city of light Light shines like a diamond in the city at night when that diamond shines, you know that everything's all right. But you know, we got a way to go. Let us meet the master, we don't want to make him wait. You, you just, just keep a knocking, he will open up the gate to that city of love. is a man with a plan I can understand. Master is a man of great reflection. Master is a man who lays his hand across the land. Master is a man of all time. Time by by in the city of light. Time stands still in the country. There's no time for a fuss in a fight. As we travel just to be not denied to reside with some pride but a ride to the city the city of Let's spread out the blankets and have a picnic. But I'm full of stickers. Well, my bag's full of thistles and sticks and who knows what else. Whose idea was it to come this way anyway? Why, it was the lamps, I tell you. Oh, yeah? Who's supposed to be the big shot navigator around here, Mr. Loudmouth? Mr. Big Loudmouth? Yeah. Where are we, anyway? Now, look here, fellas. Just give me a second and, uh... Whoa, listen to this. It's the top of the ninth. The bases are loaded and Pee Wee races at the plate. There's the pitch. And he connects. Oh, and it's a triple play. Knock it off, you guys. We should all settle down and try to get some sleep.
This is my sleeping space, see? And nobody crosses this line. Yeah, well, you better not wake us up at 6, as usual. What are you complaining about? You didn't do any work today. Yeah. Go find your own place to sleep, you little fuzzball. Sergeant! Hey, hey, hey! When are you blind, it's a line. Hot, hot. Good night. Come on. I'm not the master. Go snuggle somewhere else. I'm trying to get some sleep. Now go on. I used when I was drumming for Cap Calloway, like this. Cut that out. No. 
No, no, it's just a reflection. I'm not a flower. Why, certainly. I'm as sure as I am honest. In that case, we're definitely lost. But there might be lions in there. The tigers and bears. Oh, my. He's such a baby. Mama. running low. We should give it a rest. Turn out that light. Do we have to stop here? Only for a while. Just long enough to lose our minds. We'll be cannibals within a few days. I've seen it happen. And you'll be the first to go, Dial Face. Hey, fellas! We can stay in here. Look. What's the matter? Eaten alive, a poor sap. Oh, I thought you were a gunner. Uh, you wish. You know, guys, we are going to need some kind of shelter. Yeah, shelter from the likes of them. Come over here and say that, Chrome Dome. What? Oh, sorry about that. I meant to say, vacuous vacuum. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. In the blue corner, undefeated champion, Rocco the Radio Rattuno. Ding! Oh, and there's the bell. They're on each other like black on a bowling ball. Hey, look. concludes our broadcast day. This is Lowell Winchell signing off. Good night, America, and all the ships at sea. Thanks. Oh, that's all right. <sighs> So
So, uh, what's this thing with you and the blanket? What thing? You know, all of a sudden you're being so darn nice to him all of a sudden. Oh, that. Well, I was just thinking, and I got this feeling that I should be nicer to him for a change, you know? And now I feel better. Wow, that's weird. What's weird about it? I don't know. I mean, you were never this nice to him before. And now all of a sudden you're nice to him all the time, and I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm just trying to understand, trying to figure out, you know, exactly what it all means. Well... It's kind of hard to describe. It's like being next to a new loaf of bread. Hmm, it's, uh, let's see. It's like a warm, toasty feeling inside. Well, like a glow that just... A glow? Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. It's like the feeling I get when I think about the master. Yeah, that's it. I remember the first time my bulb burned out. And I thought, that's it, it's over. I'm burned out 86 to the showers. But then the master put in a brand new bulb. And I just glowed. Well, that's all there is to it. That's very interesting. Good night, Slothead. Good night. <sighs> no.
one, Blanky. Be gone for Pete's sake. <laughs> no, no, just relax. You've done enough. We'll look for him. I am feeling a little burned out. Listen to this. The Lamp was awarded a Purple Heart today for being wounded in the line of duty. Lamps across the nation were switched off for a moment of silence in respect for his act of bravery. Help! Hey, listen. Help me, please! Toaster! Kirby! I'm stuck! I hear him, but I can't see him anywhere. Maybe he's calling from blanket heaven. He's a little puffy yellow angel with a knob nose. He's just stuck in a tree, that's all. Look! did it so we could be on our way. We're wasting time. Nothing wrong with me, pal. So just back off. Don't be angry. Just keep your antennas and knobs and wires and rivets off my chrome. Who needs you guys anyway? Gotta drag you around all the time, bunch of dead weight. I'd be better off without you. But Kirby. Especially you, you little rag. So uh, how do we get across this thing anyway? I think Houdini did this once. Why, if I remember right, he was out of the hospital in no time. Well, that's encouraging. Okay, Kirby. some wood to knock on. Coaster, you okay? Coaster! Yeah, I, uh... Give me some slack, Kirby.
in the depths of hell, I stab at thee. Climb on, you idiot. Oh, it's you. Where's Toaster? It's Frank. Glad to see you. I really thought I'd turned in my warranty that time. Yeah, until Baggy here showed up. I just slipped and fell in, that's all. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, right. <laughs> you can't fool us. We love you. That's right, like Mrs. Roosevelt loved her husband. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the shore. Everybody off. Listen to this. This is President Roosevelt awarding the vacuum the Medal of Honor. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm dying. Where are we? I can't believe this. I'm really sorry. Oh, come on now. It's not your fault. Things could be worse, you know. How? How what? How could they be worse? They couldn't. I lied. Can't you find anything? I'm lucky my backup batteries work at all. Well, I just hope we're not going in circles. Come on. I knew I shouldn't have let you guys drive. Come on! Come on! Pull! Oh! oh, this is great fun. Let's make these outings a regular thing, okay? The poor guy didn't have a chance. Just... And that's it. Well, don't look now, pal, but you're about to... yourself! What? Whoa! Blanky, can you let go? Try to untie yourself. I'm not scared. Blank! Well, that, uh, concludes our broadcast today. Uh, week. Actually, it concludes all future broadcasting of any sort. We'll sign off now with the suitable tune. Mammy. Mammy, I'm coming. Oh, I, I hope I didn't make you wait. Mammy. Mammy, I'm coming. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I thought Mammy. I heard a radio. Don't you know me? Whoa. I'm your little hmm. baby. Oh, you hello, lady. Do, 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 do. Whoopsie daisy. Ho, ho. Whoop. There you go. <laughs> ah, good boy, quadruped. You remembered your seatbelt. A possible. 
Seems like a nice enough fella. Dingy, but nice. <laughs> yes, Mr. St. Peter's is quite an amusing fellow, isn't he? Oh, you poor baby. Your bobby's burned out. Here, you can have one of mine. Use it in good health. Well, you still can. <laughs> Hello, compadre. I am in deep need of a blender motor. <laughs> a blender motor? Why, sure. I got a whole ship in a blender motors in last week. Oh, boy. Heaven sent you to me. I could have it for you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Now, what did I do with that blender? I could have sworn I left it here just a second ago. Getting as loopy as a full cat without any whiskers. There you are! <laughs> I found ya. Gotta move you guys out of the way. quite know what he's going to do. He's so spontaneous. Well, 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 how do we escape? Did you hear that, boys? They want to know how to escape. as we'll just hang around. It's too late. We've got to operate. Just try to relax. It's a house of wax. Worse than I feared. I'll close my eyes and make it disappear. This is strange. It ain't home on the range. You just tell Sid me that you got cold feet. There goes the sun. Here comes the night. Somebody turn on the light. Somebody tell me that fate has been kind.
Excuse me. The missus loved the blender motor. Was wondering if you got some radio tubes, too. Radio tubes? <laughs> Why, sure. I got a whole shipment of radio tubes in this morning. You gotta help me. Gotta hide me. I'll do anything. Bread. I can get you bread. Mountains of hot cross buns. Come on. Pull yourself together. Now, what did I do with that radio? I could swear I left it right here in this very, very spot. What did it do, just get up and walk away? I really should drink more coffee. Aha! There you are! <laughs> I got you. <ya. laughs> hey, oh, Kirby, what should we do? I, uh, I, I don't know. Hey, I've got an idea. I catch you at a bad time? Just wondering if you got my radio tubes. Mom, you bought me enough underwear to stock the whole dorm, you know. Do you have enough socks? Look, Mom, I'm not going to Jupiter or anything. I'm going to college. It's just college. So let me worry a little bit. I'm, I'm your, your mother. mother. Oh, that's probably Chris. We're going out to the cabin today and pick up, like, the old lamp and radio and stuff. I can use them at the dorm. Oh, terrific. Hi, Rob. You ready? Yeah. Goodbye, Mom. Plugsy. Yeah? Did you hear that? He's taking some old stuff to the dorm instead of us. Excuse me. 
Could you tell us how to get to, uh, to, uh... 2470 McBean Parkway. A113. This is it. Go ahead. He's not home. We'll have to wait. So let's wait inside. Relax. But it's locked. Luckily, my war training included inter-appliance codes. I will simply render the secret appliance knock and will be welcomed by the native machinery. Stand aside, my meager companion. Mm -hmm. Hiya, pal. <gasps> it's them. Oh, no. How do you do? Terry, not upon our doorstep. Please, feel free to enter. All of you. Boy, you are some lucky kid. Yep, every summer for as long as I can remember. We'd be running all over this place. I looked at her, looked straight into those big blue eyes. I was you who killed Johnson. Park if I find out and you killed him too. Then you try to get me, try to get me to turn my back. Well, it's your turn, sweetheart. Now you're taking the fall. There was a shot, a puff of smoke. We ran like the dickens. And that's how we got here. Wow. Yeah, well, something like that. And all on your own, too. How convenient. I mean, uh... Remarkable. Yeah. Junkyard refugees in this house. What's the world coming to? No, I wouldn't sew a single stitch on that ragged little blanket. If you could actually call it a blanket, I'd rather die. Oh, it's just horrible and it smells too. Get that thing away from me. Look at it. How could anybody want to do it? Oh, it's disgusting. Can someone wash that? No, Lord, no. Ugh, I'm nauseous. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Sure has grown. Look at him. What a heartbreaker. He graduated, too. Of course. He knows how to work hard. He's all big now. I hope he still needs us. Still needs you? That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Why, if it isn't old rabbit ears? Why, if it isn't old loudmouth? Hi, TV. How you doing? Oh, I've got a few more seasons left. The cottage just wasn't the same after they took you away. Yeah, it wasn't as noisy. Well, I see you haven't changed. Kinda gives you a sense of security, doesn't it? Where's the master? Didn't anybody tell you? Boy, is he gonna be surprised when he gets back. He just left a little while ago to drive out to the cut. Nancy, el perro y dos agentes del servicio secreto fueron capturados tratando de pasar... Hey! What's the idea? Oh, many pardons. Was you watching that channel? Come on in. It's the greatest, isn't it? You guys sure did some weird stuff with your furniture. Huh? Well, what, what happened? This is... Well, jeez! Somebody really trashed the whole cottage! You big dumbo, didn't you lock the doors? I, I, I don't believe I've ever seen quite so many smiles before. I've never seen contraptions with so many buttons and knobs and dials before. Naturally, we are on the cutting edge of technology. Naturally, we are on the cutting edge of technology. Wow. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean?
since you came here uninvited We're all made you be delighted This is not the time or place to hatch No one here would be so bold to But since you asked and no one's told you Let us take you to the cutting edge I can process words accounting to in my pixel screen displays for you. Computer graphics locked into your memory. Memory, memory, memory. With fiber optics cast in plastic for nights with sights and sound fantastic. Just reach out and talk to your dear old Uncle Emery. Everything you wanted and more. Some mean cuisine, I'm on the scene to tell you automatic. Hey, I can bake your biscuits too. Pop some dough boy up for you. I macro solid state, and that's no step. Tees, woofers, tweeters, and tenor trees, and ultra nine on life of ease. Where's the lamp and blanket? The master has such good appliances. Yeah, couldn't get any more modern. <laughs> They're wonderful.
Now, honey, I mean it. You can just take some of our things. Oh, this lamp would look so cute in your dorm room. Go for it. Well, what are you going to read by then? Oh, I'll buy some candles. I won't read. I'll go out. Thanks, Mom, but I'm not going to take your stuff. Come on. Look, I'll just go try to pick up a few cheap things this afternoon and, you know, whatever. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Appliances. Cheap appliances. Available now at Ernie's disposal. Where's a good bargain place around here? You should have gone for the new stuff. Oh, uh, were you in line first here? Well, after you, of course. Pardon me. This kind of pressure. I must confess, one more dusty road it would be just a road too long. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't seem to get started. Don't have the heart to live in the fast lane. All that is past and gone. Place is too expensive. Cheap. We're talking real cheap. Hey, what about Rooney's down on 53rd? They got like used vacuums and junk. This just in. Rooney's vacuums found to be um uh carcinogenic in recent lab tests. Big, big tumors on those rats. Ugh! We've got photos to prove it, and I don't even want to look at them. Ugh. I come from Casey, Missouri. I got my kicks out of Route 66. Every truck stop from Butte to M.O. Motown, New Old Alabama. From Dixon, Canada, and East of Savannah. From Tampa to Old Kokomo. I once ran the Indy 500. I must confess I'm impressed how I did it. I wonder how close that I came. Now I get a sinking sensation. I was the top of the line, out of sight, out of mind. So much for fortune and fame. A bargain in every buck. A buck in every pocket. A pocket in, uh, every trouser. Ernie's Bargain Circus, where you ride the Ferris wheel of values toward a better tomorrow. Once took a Texan to a wedding Once took a Texan to a wedding He kept forgetting his loneliness Letting his thoughts turn to home and return I took a man to a graveyard I beg your pardon, it's quite hard enough Just living with the stuff I have learned Why don't we just go cruising and see what we can find? Why wander aimlessly through the sprawling wasteland they dare to call the city when your dreams are all under one roof? Our roof, corner of 3rd and E. Crazy Ernie's amazing emporium of, of total bargain madness! <laughs> ah. Have you ever heard of this place before? Looks pretty neat. One stole the surf at the sunset There were bikinis and buns, there were weenies But Lini just couldn't forget Kiko, let's go up to Zuma Kiko, let's go up to Zuma From Zuma to Yuma, the rumor was I had a hand in the lay of the land On a reservation, who would believe they would love me and leave on a bus?
us back to old Santa Fe. Once in an Indian nation, I took the kids on the skids with the hope he was happy till I heard him say, You're worthless. This sure doesn't look like Crazy Earnings' amazing emporium of total bargain madness. It's the right address. Hmm. We don't have to do this every day. Look! What? You don't got it. He's coming back. He'll see us this time. Just like my old blanket. I think it is my blanket. Well, that's my radio. Hey, Chris. Oh, all right, in the lamp. Hey, Chris.
Would you cool it? Now get down here. You're scaring me to death. Really now? Why don't you just go out and buy a new one? Are you kidding? Where could I find another toaster like this? Like that? Probably nowhere. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. Bye, Mom! I love you! I'll call you tonight! You forgot your sweater! We did good, didn't we? Yep. We did good. You know, I've been thinking. And this college business seems like a good idea. I can absorb a lot of interesting facts. Why, listen to this. I'm picking up something. I think it's a news flash. President Roosevelt has declared today a national holiday in honor of those five amazing appliances we've all been hearing about. So lock up the office, take down the top, and open that rumble seat. Last one to Coney Island is a party pooper. From the starlight roof, High atop the Ritz, we wish our intrepid little friends the best of luck and a fond farewell. There, you're all a bunch of junk. <laughs> <laughs>